Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking and acknowledging each and every one of my friends on here. This community brings me so much joy, and that's because it's made up of just wonderful people like you. I truly am so grateful for every single one of you and the community that we've built. I just love knowing that there's good people out there and this community really just gives me a lot of heart and helps me to see the goodness in the world. If you've already been shouted out and you're looking for more ways to get involved with the Alleyways Fam, head on down to the description box. I have a link to the Alleyways Fam Facebook group. This is a private small group for those of us that are looking for a place to hang, share our love of Disney, share photos of pets and Disney merch, really anything and everything. Just a fun, safe, positive place for us to love on one another and to get to know each other better. We'd love it to see you there. I am going to be shouting out a very special subscriber at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned till the end in case that's you. Okay, for today's video, you guys can tell we are back in the kitchen. I'm really, really excited and also extremely curious because as you guys know, I spend a lot of time on TikTok making Disney-centric content and I recently came across a video of these three ingredient cookies. The thing that really intrigued me about this is the ingredients themselves. They're not what I suspected and I don't know how to imagine this flavor profile. It piqued my interest and I actually had all the ingredients that I needed to make these cookies at home. So I thought I'd give them a go and bring you guys along with me. Let's jump right into what you're gonna need for this recipe. Right here, I have everything that we're going to need ingredient and tool wise. So to make these cookies, you're going to need one box of any kind of cake mix. This is dealer's choice. I chose lemon, that's the recipe that I saw. I also love lemon cake, cookies, bars, pies, anything lemon I really love. You're gonna need one container of whipped topping. Make sure you thaw it before you make your cookies and one egg. Those are the three ingredients. There is an optional fourth one I'll show you in just a bit. All the tools you're going to need, mixing bowl, you're gonna need a spoon, spatula, and a, a nice spatula to get your cookies off of your tray with. All right, now that we know everything that we need, let's go ahead and jump right into making our cookies. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm a sucker for an easy recipe on the channel. This is only three ingredients, but one thing that I wanna say is you can totally modify this. Let's say you didn't want lemon cookies. Say you just went for a plain vanilla cake mix. That would be a great opportunity to add in fun seasonal sprinkles or candy pieces. If you did chocolate, you could of course add chocolate chips. Really anything that you would want to add to this just to enhance the recipe, you could do. And I think that's one of the most fun things about cooking is getting in the kitchen and really exploring, experimenting, see what works, see what you like. And with a recipe like this, that's really easy to do because the base is so simple and adaptable. So I went ahead, I added my cake mix. Next, I'm going to add an entire container of whipped topping. Like I said, I set this out much earlier so it would be nice and soft because we do have to mix these ingredients. You'll wanna make sure to do that ahead of time. And then the last thing we're gonna add in is just one egg. Now online, it showed the batter and it's kind of sticky. So I'm interested to see if the consistency is the same as in the TikTok video I saw. I'm just gonna set our spatula aside to use for when we transfer the batter from the mixing bowl to our pan. Last ingredient, one egg. All right, now let's go mix all this up. Okay, this is the part that I said I was interested in because the consistency on the video I was watching was really kind of sticky and odd, but in the end, the cookies looked delicious. So as always, I'm gonna wanna check the sides of the bowl as I go to make sure I don't have any pockets of cake powder left. It doesn't really want to mix up too much, which is interesting. Have to put some elbow grease into it. It smells incredible though. Woo! I'm getting an arm workout. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep stirring this until it looks good to me. Online, they just said to stir it until there was no lumps left. So, you guys wanted a workout program on the channel and this is gonna be workout one, stirring this crazy batter. It's starting to look good to me. It's starting to look 
uh, the texture and consistency that I saw represented in my reference video. But again, you can see there's some cake mix on the bottom that I haven't quite got incorporated. So I'm just gonna keep stirring and I'll come back when it looks right. So while you're mixing or before, whenever you like, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350. I eyeball my cookies when I bake them. I can generally tell when they're done. With these cookies, you're going to want to check them for the first time around nine minutes. Once you can see the bottom is getting a little bit golden brown and they look a little bit more golden on the top, that's gonna be a great place to tell when they're done. You guys know on the channel, I talk about being team underbaked all the time. I like my cookies underbaked. You bake them how you like them. For me, around nine minutes is the first time I'm going to check them. I'm gonna put uh, a knife or fork in the middle or shake them on the tray to see their consistency consistency. I'll do that on camera so you guys can see how I like mine done, but the batter is all mixed. So just so you have an idea of what it's supposed to look like, there it is. And that is consistent with what I saw online. So now I'm going to get these on our baking sheet, which I've lined with parchment, parchment paper and get them in the oven. So the original creator of this recipe is somebody known as Miss Bedhead, at least that's to the best of my knowledge. And the way that they put the cookies on the sheet is just plop them down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just going to make them, oh my gosh. You guys can see how sticky this batter is. I'm gonna make them about this size. The girl online that I watched made hers too big and they looked just a bit bigger than this. I'm gonna just kind of give them a general shape like so. And just put as many as I can fit on our little parchment paper here. And then get them in the oven. Okay, the extra ingredient I'm going to add is powdered sugar. Powdered sugar always pairs well with lemon. And I think it's just going to make these cookies nice and beautiful and a little extra sweet. So I'm just taking a small teaspoon and I'm just going to gently sprinkle the powdered sugar over the top. That looks wonderful to me. Let's get these bad boys in the oven. Okay, the oven is ready. Let's go. It's been nine minutes. I went ahead and put another pan in as well. But as you all can see, the edge is getting nice and golden brown there. And when I jiggle and twist the pan, the cookies don't run too much. So that is perfect for Team Underbaked. So these are getting pulled. I'm gonna let them cool. We're gonna put them on a plate and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay gang, and just like that, our cookies are done. They are cooled off and we have got them on a platter. Now all there is left to do is taste test. I'm gonna take the one right on the top. As you guys know, I'm Team Underbaked. I'm gonna show you the consistency of the cookie I like. I like the cookie to look just about like this on the bottom. Nice and golden. And then on the top, you're gonna be able to see the consistency best when I tear the cookie. So nice and soft. Cheers. Mmm. Bake perfectly. If I don't say so myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Consistency is really, really good. I love a soft cookie. I can say it over and over again, but these are especially soft and really chewy. And the flavor is incredible. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Could not have been easier. Like I was talking about earlier, I think it'd be really great to add things in, kind of as you explore with the recipe. I think these would be really great with some additional white chocolate chips, and I think I'll definitely do that next time. They're delicious. This tastes like something you would get from a bakery. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy it more off camera. Then we're gonna come back and shout out a very special subscriber. Okay gang, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll enjoy this recipe. I was really excited about it because it's quick, easy, affordable, simple. You really can't mess it up. It's something that you can play with, have fun with, and it turned out to be really delicious. Thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to be here. I wanna give a special, special thank you to our friend Rob Bazemore. Rob, 
you recently were in one of the live chats and I went to look and you had subscribed all the way back in January. Thank you for being here all this time. I'm so sorry that we're just now meeting, but I'm glad to be just now meeting. Thank you for subscribing, for being involved, for your kindness, for your support. I'm so glad that you're a part of the Alleyway family. I love each and every one of you and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye!